Hey guys, it's Kylie. For anyone who doesn't know, I am about to show you guys how I beat my face. First, I start with my brows. I already moisturized and put chapstick on. I'm gonna brush them up. Okay. I never used to be good at brows. Jordan was always like, used to do my brows. But um, then I kind of just learned what I like. I conceal right underneath to shape the brow and then I um, apply it all over my lid as like a base for my eyeshadow. I take my beauty blender and I just like blend it out. Face powder, eyeshadow, and I'm using one of my new palettes. I'm going in with some of the matte shades from my crease. And I'm just pretty much like shaping my eye. Gonna do kind of like a simple eye today because I have some meetings and I'm not trying to be too crazy. Oh, there you go. This amazing shade. I'm gonna put this under my brow bone. I test out most of my stuff on Jordan because we live together, so I'm like, Jordan, I need you. Everyone that comes in my house has like red tinted arms from like swatches and like shadows. Now I'm gonna go in with this darker brown. Kind of gives me more of like a cut crease. It's like right in the center. My new favorite gold shade. It's perfect for the summer. And I'm gonna just take it on my finger because I feel like that just works best sometimes. It's like such a bright gold and it has kind of like a copper hint to it. It's definitely, I think, my favorite gold I've ever created. I think I'm gonna do something a little crazy and take Juicy, this orange. It has some shimmer to it and put it in my tear duct. So that's amazing. And then I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just wipe the excess. That's why I do my foundation after eyeshadow, eyeshadow falls down and then your face isn't cute anymore. So I just found these Marc Jacobs Fantasy Dew Drops and I'm kind of obsessed. One squirt of this. I do have a spray tan right now. So I'm gonna do like four squirts of that. Take my foundation brush and just mix it all around. I'm gonna clip my hair up. I kind of like my freckles to show through my makeup. I know it looks like I'm putting like loads on, but I blend it out really good so that it doesn't look too heavy. And then I always take it down to my neck and just blend it all in. I've always been like really into makeup. I think I just used to watch my mom a lot maybe and I used to like steal all her makeup and she had these two little Chanel loose eyeshadow powders. I just can't get them out of my mind. It was like this baby blue and this baby pink and I would just put them all over my face. They were bomb. My mom always let me wear makeup. It was more my dad that didn't really want me to wear makeup, but um, my mom always let me be creatively wild and go to my sixth grade class with purple eyeshadow and a cut crease. I haven't thought about letting when I'm letting Stormy wear makeup. I mean, I'm gonna let her wear makeup, but when is the question. Okay, once I'm done blending this out like crazy, I'm gonna take the same foundation I used and line the top of my brows since I did my brows before. Um, I didn't wanna get too close with the bigger brush. Blend that out. I like to mix my concealers because I like, like a, to use a pinkier one and a beigier one. Pink cancels out. Um, I used to conceal my forehead, but I don't do that anymore because I feel like when you have like a cakey forehead, it gives away if you're wearing makeup. Me and Kim do not compete. A lot of people think we might, but we just, we really like making like completely different products and we both enjoy each other's stuff. So it's just the more makeup, the better. So I'm gonna use Kim's setting powder. Chanel, it's actually like a sunscreen and a foundation. Sunscreen is important to me. I have like naturally really fair skin and I don't, I can't ever like get a tan. I just burn a little bit of this, never hurt. Now for a little bronzer, and I'm just gonna go right under my cheekbone. 
For my face, I place my contour mainly like right at the edge and then I kind of like blend it out. And then I do the side of my forehead. I kind of do like a three, right? After I contour, I'm going to bake this. It's important you do this after your bronzer because I feel like that's what is, I don't know. I really don't know. But it's important you do it after your bronzer. I can't, I can't do my makeup without baking. I think it really does help. And for anyone who doesn't know what it is, baking actually like, it's like the powder is like soaking in to your skin and leaving like a residue of like a of color. So I'm actually, I'm like trying to make this lighter here. So I have more of like a, it just shapes my face. I hope that was a great explanation. I'm gonna leave this for like the rest of my makeup. I do pretty much color my whole lip with lip liner. I think I could do it with my eyes closed. It's pretty good. It was actually a funny story. My mom did her lip liner in the car real quick. At, we were actually at Disney World, my whole family, a long time ago. And she accidentally took out her black eyeliner instead of her lip liner and she lined her whole lips with black eyeliner. And Courtney was dying. I've never, I think Courtney peed her pants. I'm using Nova lipstick today. I had Kylie Lip Kit trademarked like two years before it even launched and I was like bugging my mom about it. I see it, like I need to do this. She was like, okay, put up your own money. Like, stop talking about the lip kit. And then I didn't even order a lot. My mom was like, okay, if this doesn't work out, you're gonna have like a lot of lip kits in your garage. I didn't even make it to my launch party. I like refreshed the page and in two seconds, everything was gone and like I just remember me and all my glam people my friends we were like screaming and then the Kylie Instagram used to be Kylie lip kit and then the day after I changed it to Kylie cosmetics and I was like this is like gonna be something like I can actually do yeah I saw Kendall modeling all over the world and I was like and that was always her dream and just you know then finally finding something that was like mine and I loved was like the best feeling in the world. When I was insecure about my lips, I turned to makeup to help me feel more confident. So now I'm gonna do um, shade my under eyes. I'm gonna go in again with Aquaholic. I feel like this just like completes the eye. I think I'm gonna do something a little crazy and take Juicy, the orange color again and drag it underneath. Brightening. I'm just gonna do a little bit under my eyes and clean anything up. Contour my nose a little bit. Now I'm gonna do blush, which is my favorite part, and I'm gonna use Barely Legal from Kylie Cosmetics. I love this pink color. I smile so I know where to put it. I put a little like on my forehead too and like my chin and I guess my nose. I just love blush and I just put it like all over my face. Okay, I'm done with this for now and just wipe this off. Dior Show, black mascara on top. It's actually like against the rules in the lash world to mascara your lashes, but I don't care. I use brown on the bottom because um, I don't like too much mascara on the bottom, so this just gives me more of like a subtle look. I feel like when I put black, it's like too much. Now I'm gonna do some highlighter. Um, I'm using Salted Caramel, my fave. I like to use a small brush when I highlight because I just like it to be like precise. A little on the tip. I use my finger because I think it helps like blend it in. It doesn't look too powdery either. Sometimes I'll do it like above my lip. Maybe on my chin. Okay. I'm gonna try one of my new glosses and see if this works out. Might not. It's kind of fun. Brow gel. I take the tip, which like holds the most product, and I like wipe all the product on first. And then I brush it up so it's like extra product. Extra blush, always at the end. Blush doesn't work for everybody, but it just makes me like, just feel amazing. <laughs> Drowning in blush right now. 
but it just makes me feel like my whole look is complete. And then I just let my hair down and I'm actually gonna spray because I feel like spraying just makes your makeup look better in person and less powdery. So you kind of drench it and you get a little scared at first because you're like, did I ruin my makeup? But then once it dries, it looks way better. All right, well that is my beat face. Bye guys.